one of the reasons I moved to China was to experience a different culture than my own, than what I grew up with. When I landed in China, I didn't speak a word of Mandarin Chinese. So needless to say, the culture shock um, was, uh, was significant. So I've been in Asia for about two years and this is the first time I've come back to the U.S. and really had a chance to absorb things during the two years I've been gone. And some things have been sticking out. Um, I've noticed some things. I wanted to share that because reverse culture shock is super interesting. I noticed with myself that when I go to a new place, usually the first few days to a week, I notice all the things that are different and all the things that were similar. Uh, but after that, they kind of go away and I get used to it. So now that I'm back here, I've only been back for four days. So I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to show you guys things from my perspective, uh, the perspective of somebody who's an expat, uh, having lived out of the country for so long. So I've taken you here to my friendly neighborhood Kroger store. Grocery stores are my favorite store. And this might look normal to you, but for me, it's a little out of the ordinary. This much space for a grocery store, and much like on the outside, on the inside, it's the same thing. Do you see how big this lane is? It's like a double shopping lane lane. Which I'm totally okay with. I'm not a small person. I like having... Did you see? These... Here, I'll show you. These bars that have things inside of them, protein bars, you cannot buy them in Southeast Asia. You could probably buy them in Hong Kong, but I did not see them in China. I did not see them in Taiwan. I haven't been to Singapore yet. You know, while we're talking about it, why don't I just show you some things like this, 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 sexy this, cereal selection, this, this, that you can't find in Asia. This, these, all of this, especially, oh, oh my God, this bread. Do you see, do you see the fiber on there? Each slice is five grams. Can I just, can we, you just, oh, come here for a second. Look, there comes a point in a person's life when they start focusing on their fiber intake. For some reason, this fiber conspiracy isn't a thing over, <laughs> over in Asia. This bread is like my, I'm not endorsed by Dave's at all, but Dave, that being said, I'm, I'm open to, to suggestions. Can I just say how nice this is? I'm, I'm getting a lot of exercise during this, this food journey I'm taking you guys on. Chocolate selection. This variety is kind of hard to find. Like whole wheat pasta, again, the fiber thing, I don't know. I found like one store in Taipei that sells it. Look at this, more cereal. See what I'm talking about? Don't, don't take that for granted. This is a, this is a treat. All Mexican food, like these beautiful corn tortillas, doesn't exist. Baking powder, surprisingly, can, can be hard to come by. You have to go to specialty baking stores. Ben and Jerry's, the rule is uh, certain stores at certain times during the year. Uh, not when the winter, when it's cold out, because cold foods plus Cold outside means, I think it means cold inside. This whole thing, frozen vegetables and like dinners and stuff, that doesn't really, everyone just makes their stuff. Dave, don't think I forgot about you. spent too much time in that grocery store bit um but it's my favorite store like guys i really miss the grocery stores 